And now we're going to make those uh, sub menu buttons big, fat, and blue as well. And how I do that is we have to, this time we're actually going to create a width and a height for all of the sub menu list tags because you want them to appear uniform. The top menu link, because they're appearing horizontal, the iPhone's width can be a lot smaller than computers and laptops width and it won't make big, a much difference but for the sub menus because they're aligned vertically you have to give them uniform width so let's go do that by first creating a new property uh, we're going to call it sub nav um, sub nav a which is the class for all of the a tags in the sub nav uh, sub nav unordered list and we're actually going to give it a width of 200 pixels and a height of 40 pixels. And what happens is nothing much really. And the reason is because we forgot to add a display uh, property. So let's go to display and inline block. Now everything should be all right. So if we go back, there you go. And uh, it looks uniform and it appears more like a suitable menu. We also have to add the border so it looks the same as the other ones. So border, two pixels, solid, uh, black. And if we go back, check it out. There you go, we've added some borders. We're actually going to get rid of the borders on the bottom so we thin this part out. So we go back, border, bottom is equal to none and there you go there's no borders at the very bottom but we'll add that in later so don't worry too much right now and right now all the text is uh, attached straight to the left and we want there to be some paddings on the left side so we're going to go ahead and add some padding in so let's say padding left is equal to 20 pixels so if we go back check it out there you go it looks a little bit better And we're going to go back to the CSS menu. This time we're going to uh, make the second sub menu appear when it's hovered over. So in order to do that, let's first create a comment sub menu 2. And we're going to make this appear when the list tag with the class of sub nav list is hovered. We want the unordered list with the second sub nav class, sub nav 2, to appear from the top 0 and from the left 222 pixels. Go back, and if we hover over here, there you go. It appears on the right. Actually, it seems like, uh, yeah, there's a, this is actually the original one. Um, the width is not set for this one so it's looking a little bit weird. And just to clarify why I said from the left 220 pixels is because it's including the borders. The the bo left border is 2 pixels, the width is 200 pixels, and the right border is 2 pixels. So there's a 2 pixel overlap but that um, allows us to say in here in our demo it appears uh, it appears better instead of there being an extra four pixels border right here in the middle. So setting that as two pixels, uh, two pixels shorter than what it should be, the width or from the left positioning is uh, is more visually aesthetic. And we're going to add one more styling here. Um, now we're going to go ahead and set the width and the height for the second sub menu. So let's create a new property for the unordered list sub nav 2 and then a for denoting the link tags. And once again we're going to make this display as block. block. Actually we can just uh, make it block. The only reason I made um, the previous one here in line is because later when we're adding a hover ability for Internet Explorer 6. I'm going to be using some uh, some open source JavaScript that someone has already pre-written, and um, for that JavaScript to work, you have to make it inline block. Otherwise, uh, it creates a little bug, and I had to fix that. So 
That's why in the second in the first sub menu you have the display as inline block. The second one you can have it as either inline block or block. But if you're creating a sec a third sub menu within the second sub menu, you want this to be inline block as well. For here, just for demonstration's sake, I'm just going to keep it as uh, just regular block. So do that and then set the width to 200 pixels, uh, height as 40 pixels. If we go back, check things out. Refresh and there you go. We have uh, the 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 more square looking uh, blue blue labels. And once again, we're just going to add a few more things. Now, right here, it's displaying um, displaying at the very top because uh, currently it's the the biggest relative uh, positioning item that it's uh, positioning relative to is the very top link nav. Now we have to change the the rich, the um the positioning uh pointer to the list tag that is appropriate, which in this case is uh, I believe seashells. And to do that we have to create a position of relative for all of the the list items in the second sub menu. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to create a sub a new property called sub nav list, and we're going to give it a position of relative. So that should fix things up. If we go back, check it out. There you go. It's uh it's lined to the top of where it should be. Now we're going to give it some border and some paddings. So go back here. On the very last uh, property, we're going to give a padding left of 20 pixels and a border of 2 pixels solid and black. Go back and there you go. And now once again we're going to delete the 4 pixel uh, borders so we can reduce them down to 2 pixels by saying border bottom is equal to none. If we go back here, there you go, everything is as it should be. And we'll add the very last border uh, later on. Actually, we, I think we should uh, go ahead and do that now just to finish um, the, the CSS navigation menu. And how we're going to do that is we're going to add some extra classes back into the original HTML file. So if you go back to the HTML file, we're going to, um, let's say, let's do it for the second sub menu first. Uh, we're going to go to the A tag where the border is applied, since the borders are applied to the A tags. We're going to create a, uh, let's go to the last one, the second sub menu, which is uh, this one right here. We're going to add a new class called sub nav to a last. And if we go back to our CSS page, if we add another uh, CSS at the very bottom, sub nav to a last, and give it a border property bottom of two pixels solid and black. If we go back to the page, currently there is no borders. If we refresh the page and then go back, there is a border at the bottom. So we're going to do the same thing for this, the uh, first sub menu and, and the right border here for the top. So we're going to go back to the HTML document and let's locate the very last um, top nav link. So here, top nav a last and for the